Now today's show is coming to you a day early because I couldn't very well do our Halloween Name the Fly streamer contest the day after Halloween. Now I love these contests. It gives me an opportunity to just play around with the vice, come up with something fun and maybe a little bit crazy. And I love hearing what y'all come up with for the names. Now if you're new to the channel, what we've been doing is coming up with streamers for all the major holidays. We've done New Year's Day, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Mother's Day and Father's Day and Fourth of July. We're gonna do 10 total. We've still got Veterans Day, Thanksgiving, and Christmas, but before that, we've got Halloween. Now there's nothing too special about this pattern. It's just a black and orange themed bucktail. Now I did put a big chenille butt on it because you know, who doesn't like a big butt? And I'm topping it off with squirrel because I really just love bucktails with the squirrel in the wing. Now again, if you're new to Savage Flies, here's how we play. Just watch the video, leave a comment with what you think we should name this fly. In a few days, I'll pick the top four or five and we'll put it up for a vote and I'll send the winner a $25 gift card to Jay Stockard and one of these hats. Your choice, khaki or the blue and gray one. Now these contests really can be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to hearing what y'all come up with. So there it is in the vice, our 2022 Halloween bucktail. Now is it a bucktail if it's predominantly squirrel? Yes, I think it is. That's the tradition. We pretty much call all flies like this bucktails or streamers, streamers and bucktails. Let's go ahead and pinch that barb. This hook is the, it's a J Stockard 235. It's a 3X long, 1X strong, either nymph or a streamer hook. This is a size six, so definitely a streamer for me. I'm gonna use some black thread, go ahead and lay a base down to the start of the bend. Now for the tail on this one, I chose some black duck slips, just a couple right here. And I didn't even go, you know, take them from a left and right pair. This, these slips are both from the same feather. So I'm just not, you know, not worried too much about it. I am going to try to keep them on top of the hook there though. I think that's fine. And I do like them flared up a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna be fine right there. I'm gonna go ahead and bury these. Now I do want a butt on this. Orange chenille, and I'm not making a big old butt. I'm making a small butt. This is a small chenille. Medium, I think, would be just a little bit too big for a size six streamer. So, you know, maybe not. Up to you, I guess, if you really want a, a big old butt here. So, yeah, let's do that. And I'm gonna wrap it two, maybe three wraps, and I'm gonna stop right where my thread is hanging. So here's a little tip for you. I will do this three open wraps and just get my thread out of the way. Now I'll wrap this up and I'm remembering that it's three wraps so that I can take it back exactly. Okay, I'm gonna need to go one more I think right here or else this butt won't be big enough. So now watch this back up those three wraps and my thread is right here where I wanna catch this off. And there we go, I think that is fluffy enough. Let's take our thread up here and catch in the next component, which is gonna be a Mylar tinsel. And this is a size 14, which I think equates to a, a small. And I'm gonna catch it in with the silver side toward the hook because I want the silver showing. And for the body, just some black floss. Standard black floss, silk if you got it, or whatever you got. And I'm not gonna wrap it down and back. I don't want a thick body, so I'm gonna catch it in with thread going back here. Now I'll part my thread up here where I'm gonna finish the, the body. So go ahead and wrap this up. Just, you know, try to keep it smooth. I'm not necessarily war trying to, to build up any bulk here. Okay, now let's wrap this rib. And my body right there, my butt, might not be as fluffy as I want, but yeah, we're fine. So spacing on this, whatever you think looks good, and I guess depends on how flashy you want it. I'm gonna go, you know, moderately right here, maybe six wraps on up to the front. Okay, let's bury this and then grab our first component for the wing. Now I did play around with trying to throat, but I think it just got a little bit too busy. So I'm gonna catch in some orange bucktail. And 
you know bucktails it's not all created equal this one is a little bit too crinkly to stack so i just kind of stacked it with my fingers but one thing i do want to do here is put a little bit of wax on my thread it might help us get a little bite to it and i'm going to spin my thread clockwise just try to cord it up a little bit and what i'm going to do here i'll measure my length a little bit past the bend of the hook and i am going to put one wrap just around the the bucktail here loose wrap and then the second wrap around the hair and the hook and if we do this right it will keep that bucktail on top of the hook okay i think for the most part we're on top of the hook let's take it a little bit farther back here and don't worry if it's flaring we can push that down with the next component of our wing which is going to be squirrel now squirrel tail does usually stack pretty well so let's put this in our stacker take a look at it okay i think that looks pretty good let's pull it out and see okay i think that's fine i'm probably not going to get this as long as that bucktail but that's okay we'll use it to push it down right there and i'm going to do the same trick i should still have a little bit of wax on that thread so clockwise spin cord it up a little bit let's put one wrap just around this squirrel and then the second wrap around the squirrel and the hook and not pulling it real tight yet just kind of making sure i'm still up there it's not really where I want it so let's just try to adjust a little bit okay I think that's gonna be fine now I can put some tight wraps going forward now what you can do if you've pushed it down too far you can lift all of this up and I'll show you what I'm talking about here just lift all this bucktail up with your thread toward the back of that head and put a wrap or two just right up under it and sometimes that will help prop it back up and mine is getting a little bit unwieldy here okay i think that's going to work right there a couple more tight wraps here before i snip off this squirrel okay now spin as many wraps as you need to get a big old clean streamer head. Now I don't think I mentioned this is 70 denier thread. I would have probably been smarter to use a 140. Wouldn't have taken near as many wraps on this head, but we're fine. We'll be in good shape. Let's clean this up and then see what else we need for cleanup. I got a a scraggly right there and some of that orange is coming off the side a little bit more than I want but you know if we're gonna fish a crazy fly like this I think we're gonna be just fine a little drop of head cement and this thing's good to go so I appreciate you watching everybody make sure you let me know in the comments what you think we should name this fly